Hey everyone, Andy here, and you may remember a video that we did based on the WD Black SN750 drives. We took three of them and attempted, and I'm going to use that word very loosely, attempted to put them in RAID. Well, it didn't quite go as well as what we planned, so let's try again. So if you haven't checked out the video that we already done based around the three SN750s, I definitely invite you to go and sort of check that out. We essentially used the ASRock X299 Tai Chi XE. Uh, it had three M.2 slots and it said that it supported RAID. Well, it turns out after some investigation actually doing the video, well, it doesn't. <laughs> it has simply put, it only does that across two of the slots, which are number three and number two. Number one is basically a completely different slot that uses a different interface to kind of interact with the M.2 slot. So what we did kind of went completely out the window. We were still able to get some really, really good speeds and we will kind of put them up somewhere in this video for reference. But this time we're gonna go extreme. What we have is the Z390 Aorus Extreme. So we are changing platforms. We're going from X299 to Z390. Now, the main reason that I chose X299 was the fact that it is the HEDT space. It is the highest end of kind of Intel's platform on the consumer level. So we sort of assumed when, you know, the motherboard had three M.2 slots that there wouldn't be any issue. But it turns out the Z390 Aorus Extreme does have three M.2 slots and all three of them can be raided together. So we're going to take these three drives and we're going to put them in the board. But first, I've got to dismantle this at least a little bit get this board in there and uh, and basically get it all rocking and rolling and then see essentially what we can actually do and if we can get better speeds than what we did on the ASRock X299 Tai Chi XE. So without further ado, let's run the montage. Okay, so now that we've got everything back up and running, you can see that we are now using the Aorus Z390 Extreme. So, um, very similar setup really uh, in terms of actually configuring the RAID on this particular motherboard uh, to what it was was uh, what it was on the ASRock. So, SATA drive we have still got our 500 gig uh, WD Green drive. M.2, you can see that we have all three drives. So, we're going to take it out of classic mode. Uh, go into peripherals to start with and you can see that we have SATA and RST configuration But before we actually do that we want to go into BIOS and we need to make sure that CSM support is actually disabled um, It's really weird some motherboard manufacturers actually have this disabled by default which Sometimes I actually complain about because it does kind of hinder certain things in terms of combat compatibility So I'm going to disable it now that just gives us kind of further options. So if we now save it before we go back into the RST settings, you should sort of see, you know, a few other options kind of open up now that we've turned CSM off. So we go into here, SATA and RST configuration, and currently the SATA mode is set to AHCI. So we want to turn that on to RST premium with Intel Optane system acceleration. Obviously we're not using Optane, but same kind of functionality. Use RST legacy Oprom, just like we did with the ASRock board. Um, and then you've got uh, your RST control PCIe storage device. So I'm going to set that to manual just so I can enable each one of the three drives. So we've got the first NVMe drive, the second NVMe drive, and the third NVMe drive. Again, we then need to save the BIOS and go back in because it will reopen kind of another new setting, which is where we're actually going to be setting the kind of RAID array. So again, going back into peripherals, you can now see that we have Intel Rapid Storage Technology. That option wasn't there before. 
So we're gonna go into there and you can see that we have all four of our drives. So the SATA drive that we're gonna use for our OS and then the three PCI Express drives as well. So when we go into here, we can obviously uh, name the RAID array. So again, gonna call it uh, WD uh, Black RAID 0. And then you can choose whether you want uh, RAID 0, 1 or 5 or just a recovery. We're obviously going for blistering fast speed, so we're gonna choose RAID 0. And then we get to choose the drives, much like we did on the ASRock board. So we're gonna choose the three drives that we're using, uh, the NVMe drives, and it'll tell us what our total capacity is going to be, which is 2.8 terabytes. These are all one terabyte drives, so obviously that makes sense. Create volume, and then you can see that we have our RAID volume, 2.7 terabytes, give or take. And that is basically it. So now if we F10, we can uh, boot from the SATA SSD, go into Windows, and hopefully see them blistering fast speeds. Okay, so now we're into Windows. What I wanted to do was actually show you what kind of performance we got on the single drive. So we've got the three single drives here, and then what we actually got on the two drives. Now, I've actually been doing a little bit of digging, and I'm gonna be honest, I've run this test already. And just to show you guys, I failed quite miserably, and I actually think I know why. So let me sort of show you the results first, and then I guess I can uh, maybe drill down a little bit and summarize exactly what's going on. Because right now we've got three drives, all NVMe, all 3,470 megabytes a second, raided together, and we're only getting that, compared to that. Let's talk about it. Okay, so um, I guess the first thing I need to go through is the results. They were absolutely abysmal. And um, we tried to kind of rack our brains on it. Is it the drives? Is it the board? So I think it's Intel. So that's all I'm gonna say right now is I need to do some more testing. And a lot of people kind of flamed me in the comments of the last video because like, oh my God, read the manual. Oh my God, Google it. Well, we did read the manual, we did Google it those were the results that we got. So that's why we kind of moved to a board that specifically said that it supports three drives in NVMe RAID, which was this. The biggest problem is though, we've gone from X299 down to Z390, which means that essentially we've lost some of the PCI Express lanes, which is where I think the problem kind of lies. I think it's all down to essentially not being able to get um, as much information from and to the drives themselves because of the limitation of the PCIe bandwidth. So the only real way around that is to take this whole system and essentially throw it out the window. But obviously I'm not gonna do that because it's a really nice looking system. I mean, I even added more RGB because I thought that it would make it faster and clearly it didn't. So I think the only way that we can really move forward with this and I'll only probably do it if people kind of want me to is moving up to something like this. So this is the X399 Designate EX from Gigabyte. Now, this specifically says that you can do triple RAID, um, NVMe, and it says that there really shouldn't be any issues with it. So that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping we can put a Threadripper processor in there and really sort of, you know, see if the limitations is with, uh, is with the PCI Express bandwidth. That's personally what I think it is, but I may be completely wrong. But the only way of doing this is really to, to test it and find out. So we're gonna do that and that's gonna be safe for another video. Otherwise this video is just gonna go on way too long. I did even try on this platform, disabling one of the NVMe drives in the RAID configuration and just setting it up as two drives, similar to how we did in the first video with the X299 platform. But we still got exactly the same results. I tried disabling USB, LAN, and all the other kind of onboard features that would limit the PCI Express bandwidth to really try and you know push as much as I physically can through to the drives. It didn't make a difference. So I guess the takeaway on this is if you want to run NVMe RAID, well, two drives and above, you're going to need X299. Three drives, I think you're gonna need AMD. Now, I don't know whether that's gonna to apply to just kind of X399 or whether that's gonna to apply to X470 and kind of the consumer level of Ryzen chips, but maybe that's something we can test as well. So there you go, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, let us know in the comments section below. Let me know if you actually do want me to take these drives and put it into the X399 platform and see if Fred Ripper is actually able to kind of give that extra bandwidth that I guess three drives in NVMe needs. The only other option I do have is obviously a dedicated RAID card but that's adding another expense to the situation. Having, I mean, an X399 motherboard and three one terabyte drives isn't exactly cheap. So adding in a RAID card on top of that, which even the RAID card I've done tests with in the past and it's meant to support VROC, that doesn't really work either. So is there really a solution if you want three drives, 
in MVME raided together. I guess there's only one way to find out and that is testing that other board. So there you go guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know exactly what to do and I will see you in the next one. See you later, bye bye. These formatting the drive. So again, around 3300 megahertz uh, on the read speed, not megahertz, megabytes.